What's up dudes, Chooch bringing y'all a torture test for the EXN. This is going to be a hill climb torture test for a 2800 watt motor electric unicycle. Look at this right here. You see this? This is a mountain we're going to be climbing and it is steep, extremely steep. It basically is like a hiking trail and there is a few trucks that will try to 4x4 up this thing. We're actually going to pass one. You saw that in the early clip going up this thing. and. It amazed me, honestly, how fast I got to the top of this and all the way up here to the mountain bike trail. So this is this is all that you're going all the way up. This is in Aspen, Colorado. You're leaving the town right right down to town Aspen right here and heading up all the way into the mountains. And it and this was unique, guys, because I, I just went on an adventure. I just left the hotel and was like, man, I'm just gonna go out and just adventure around today and just try to find you know a cool spot and. I just gravitated over to this this area and saw this road and honestly like halfway up I was like man this is excessively steep and I think it's going to tear this machine up. One thing that I, I really do notice on this one as opposed to like the Sherman, so the Sherman uses those the 18650 cells, this uses the, uses the 21700 cells and man I just, I, there's something about this thing man, that, about this wheel that's just so unique man. I know that I haven't released any extreme hard trail riding stuff like i did with the sherman i want to get back to those trails that I, I filmed all that stuff on the sherman with and i want to get back down there with this wheel and try it on those trails that i can really cook on guys because i think i'll be it i, I kind of want to change the tire too a little bit on this if anybody has some recommendations for a good exn tire that's like a dual sport tire i really am i'm ready to change up the tire on this because this is this is the same tire that i used to win at apple valley speedway on on the the road race and i've been off-roading with it and whatnot and i honestly i haven't had even running it at 31 psi i seriously have not had a situation where i've slipped hard like in the woods or anything like that yet you know i and it's been right on the edge man it has been right on the edge running a slick tire with that high PSI off-road, I'll admit it. But um, I feel like if I got a dual sport tire on this wheel, it would just be unstoppable. If I had like the same type of wheel that I have on that Sherman, on this for off-roading, holy cow, man. It, I, I gotta do it, and I think I will soon. I just gotta get a good recommendation for a good enduro, like dual sport tire for this wheel. Something, something, I wanna get something that's like, um, it, Basically, exactly like the Sherman. If anybody has a recommendation for that, let me know. But you just see, man, this, they're actually, this is a hiking trail. You saw that picture of how steep this is right here. I mean, there is some 4x4 trucks that go up this, but this is insanely steep, guys. And to be able to get up here this quick is just incredible on this thing. And just standing up, look at this, 4x4, just cruising up it. But then I, I'm on the wheel right here, it's going way faster. And that's it, decked out, you know, little Chevy Colorado 4x4 right there. That's a nice pickup truck that, you know, is made for this type of terrain. But yet, the one wheel, the electric unicycle, schools right past them, man. No problem. I love it, man. And it's, it's so cool because you can just bring this thing along. And it's not like you're having to load up an, a four-wheeler or a big side-by-side -side or a, a, anything like that. You know, this is so simple just to throw in a car and then you can go out and just have as much fun as anybody else with a dirt bike or a four wheeler or ATV or anything like that. You know, you can just have as much fun as them without having to go through all that hassle of putting it on a trailer and getting the gas for it and spending all that time and whatnot. So I think these are just so cool. So cool that you can do that and just travel around to unique spots. I think the coolest thing about these that's really overlooked is simply just the size of it and the fact you only have one wheel with it, you know, the bicycles are cumbersome, man. You, you get a family of four with bicycles and loading those all up in a, in a car or trying to do the bike rack scenario or whatnot, it is a big ordeal. With these, it is so small. You get the right setup in an SUV or something right in the back, a good little area just to put these right in. Um, you can go out mudding with them, everything in between, and just put it right on, on one of those like little shoe trays in your car. Uh, my car is not ideal for it. Uh, if you had an SUV, you could really make it where it was it, it's so easy to get these these wheels in and out of your car and store them and just grab and go. I've even seen people 
put like you know the little motorcycle ramps they get like a little miniature one and they'll have it going to the back of their suv so you don't even have to pick this thing up you can just roll it right up in, into the back plop it down in a stand and i've seen people make like uh, just stands in the back of their car for it where it'll it's literally just pop it right in that stand and it's just always back there ready to go in the back of your suv for going on trail rides and everything like that and you can even carry other stuff in the car have your trailer hitch free everything and then still you, you know you might go on a work trip or something where you normally wouldn't take a bicycle with you but you have that in your car you have this wheel in your car and you can go explore around you know get out of your head a little bit get away from the office and just go explore the the terrain of the area and just really you know enjoy whatever you're doing a lot more because you'll be able to explore the area and just have some fun with life and on this road right here guys i had no idea how far this went up i was just looking for a way to go find some trails i didn't even know of any trails and a lot of the times i'll go to these places guys and i'll look on the maps and i'll know where the 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 trails are but then i'll get there and then I'll, I'll just go out and ride and not even pull it up on the map or anything and just see what i can find and this was exactly one of those scenarios and i just went to the end of a neighborhood and i was like okay where does that dirt road go and i didn't really look up the mountain at all i didn't look at the, the winding of it i didn't look at where it ended and i just started going on it and then apparently this is just one of the steepest like gnarliest uh like hiking trails that people do in aspen this is kind of like the California Hills hikes, you know, where you go up there and you just really, it's an exercise type thing that people do. It's strenuous on your body to hike up that, that big hill. But you see that this thing did it. I mean, it just climbed up the side of a mountain within, in, uh, I'd say like eight minutes, like eight minutes, it climbed up the side, the whole side of that mountain, which is crazy because I edited a little bit of stuff out of there. But about eight minutes is what it took to get all the way up there. I don't know how exactly how many miles it is, but that's substantial. You saw how long it took the truck to get up there. We beat the truck up there, bicycles. Uh, I mean, no question, if you, you had a good dirt bike rider, they could definitely get there faster on that same route. But granted, this thing for the size of it, the weight of it, is pretty powerful. And, it, and that just shows right there that we've come a long way with these and the fact that there's no way you could do that. With, with any wheel I have that's, say, three years old, I'm thinking like King Song 16X, um, this 16S, uh, even like the Gatway M Super V3S might definitely struggle on that hill and, and have a hard time. But since we've gone and technology's advanced, these wheels are incredible. It really is amazing how these things ride. And I'm super excited for like the King Song S20 to come out because that is going to be a super powerful wheel with that long travel suspension on it. And it's just going to eat terrain like this where you can fly on it and like that that hill coming up you would be able to just go all out on that hill with having some good suspension there so that king song s20 is is really going to be for that type of riding in particular right there where you just want to go easy on your knees but you still want to ride some rocky chunky terrain because i want to be able to ride everything i don't want to have to find a smooth bike path just like this this was fun right here i love a good trail like that that is it if i can find something like this look at how compact i mean look how packed down that is and just how wide open and that that was awesome i found a few more trails up here just like this and it was so much fun guys it was just a whole network of beautiful trails once i got over that hill and i didn't even know this is where they were at and i made it over that hill and i was so stoked i was absolutely stoked that I was able to ride up here all day in this little valley of just the coolest trails I've ever been on. All right, guys, so the place you can order a B-Goat EX in, because I love this wheel a lot, as you know, you can get one from Alien Rides, High Torque or High Speed, pre-order it now. They're doing the High Torque and High Speed is the new thing on these, and Rev Rides may have them back in stock soon, but stay tuned for that.